Well, Peach Patch and Peach Patch haters, it looks like Peach McIntyre is going through it again. That trifling ass husband of hers is at it again, and she is pregnant with twins. Like, this happened not too long ago. I'm going to play um, each video that I captured on the IG for you so you all can see what's going on. But yeah, his little dirty ass done cheat again, child. Fair use. A peach patch. Oh, I just the lady putting the groceries in in my husband's truck. And look at this. I hope it's all right. And it's open. I hope it's all right. <laughs> what? All right. Take care. Peach pet. Bye. When I tell you, it feel like my um heart just went in my stomach. And it's open. I'm finna lose my mind. Nothing gorgeous, and I got gorgeous with me, so let me hold my composure. Like, I wish I was making this up. Y'all, I really wish I was making this up. Then I gotta, like, hold my composure. Then I just called him, like, what is this? He like, what? I don't know what that is. And I still gotta work today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And normally, you know, like, you could feel when somebody cheating on you. And then, like, I just washed my car. If you washed your car, you would have saw it. But I got to hold myself together for my kids and for this class. I'm trying my hardest to keep my composure. I'm trying my hardest. All right, Peach Patch, we just made it home. Like the audacity, so what? How else would it get there? I don't know. I don't even know. Did my bike? See, last time I went in there, it's Friday when I cleared my car. So, Peach Patch, it's Friday. Well, I cleaned my car Friday. So, if you cleaned your car out, and it wasn't there when you cleaned your car out on Friday, but today is Sunday, and you went out Friday night, you went out Saturday night, which was last night. And I went straight to the casino. And then, then but now all of a sudden, it's an open condom wrapper in the back seat. I don't know how. And I you don't know that. how I got there, and I didn't put it there. Man, and your daughter didn't put it there. Thing is, if I had a fucking condom, I had six to throw it away. That's it. So how I feel right now is very upset, and I'm trying to like contain myself because I want to just go punch this bitch and set him on fire. Getting cheated on don't hurt. It's always the fact that it's when you least expect it. I ain't think my husband cheated on me. And then he's sitting up there. He don't know how it got there. Like, really? I'm that dumb. I'm that stupid. And then I still got to go to work. Still got to go to work. And I can't just act crazy. I can't just, just slip out. I got all our kids at home and I still gotta go to work. My chewing is this, me not putting my hands on you. It's me maturing. I want to set you on fire. It don't make sense, Wood. People get in their back seat to hunch. You went out Friday and you went out last night. And you seen where I was at. Shit, I was on the phone with your ass down there the whole time. So how would a condom, an open condom wrapper? Like, I didn't put it there. You think the lady from Publix put it there? Why would the lady at Publix put that in your back seat? And I told you been enough Friday when I told y'all wash the car. Did you have the windows down and it flew in there? Like how did it get there? I don't know shit. So to go eat your pizza. My mommy. Who set you up? Who been in your car? Nobody. So who would set you up? The lady at Publix. Yeah, my car, open at the casino. So somebody seen your car at the casino 
and was like, oh my God, that's Wood's car. Now y'all, this part really pissed me off because how dare you sit here and laugh in my face and I'm in pain. Mm -mm -mm. Trigger warning, because I had one to set him on fire too, child. Let's go. <laughs> Somebody see your car at the casino and went and put a condom wrapper. This this the best lie you can come up with. Yeah. Man, somebody set me up. I swear, because I ain't had nobody in my damn car. So who set you nobody. up? If ain't nobody rode in your car, who, who set but you I up? I know I just cleaned my shit out and I ain't see that in there. This so sad. For real. I it's so then sad. Then I came in my car Friday, though. That's why you should have seen it. If you cleaned your car out Friday before you went out Friday, yeah. and then you went out Friday, didn't come home until 2 in the morning, and then you, last night you went out and didn't come home until like 3 in the morning. And I was on the phone with you the whole time. That don't mean nothing. What the fuck I'm going to go at if I'm a nigga be on, on the phone, with me? A nigga be on the phone but with you, you and FaceTime. still doing stuff. I wasn't on the phone with you before then. Yes, you was. No, I wasn't. When I was at the casino, you was. Maybe you fuck somebody at the casino in the <laughs> See, I'm trying to have self-control. Instead of just being honest with me, you can just be honest. What the fuck? You really gonna say somebody set you up, must have opened up your car door. Man, no, that shit went in now. Real shit. So how the fuck did it get there? I don't know. Shit. You asked me. You was driving my shit yesterday. You probably had that. Wood, I drove your car to the fucking rent office. Yeah, yeah. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Tell all right, Wood. All right, right Wood. Go enjoy your pizza. Get out my room, please. Get out my room. Let me let me process my emotions by myself. Well, you got emotions. There ain't nothing to get mad over. Shit, unless you had it. That shit wasn't in my bike seat, though. I literally cleaned my shit out before I left yesterday. And I ain't been in my bike seat then. Because I wiped my seats, my doors down. I ain't see that shit in there. See, I'm trying to have self-control. So I just got out the shower. Somebody won't get out of our room. Like, just get out. Let me process my emotions. But how I feel is I don't care. I don't care. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my kids in daycare. My kid, I'm gonna look for my kids at daycare. I'm gonna put my kids in daycare. I found my kids in daycare. He said, don't put them in daycare. Oh, it's a waste of money. I'm gonna put my kids in daycare. I'm gonna keep going to work. I'm not gonna let this break me. And then to sit up there and act like, oh, that, that gotta be yours. I could respect, I could respect honesty. Somebody cheating on you don't hurt. A nigga annoying like, a oh, wood when it fuck the bitch, that shit don't hurt. What hurts is you least expecting it. You thinking like, we straight, we good. Like I, I trust my husband. My husband go out every Friday, his nights out. I don't call him, I don't bother him. He went out last night, I didn't bother him. I don't bother him. But to sit up there and just like, be a, a, a liar and act like I'm crazy. I don't respect that. Baby, I don't respect that. But it is what it is. I'm gonna give y'all the same advice I gave yesterday. When a man- Hey, mommy. Hey, too. <laughs> How was your pizza? <laughs> I got classes to sell. Like, I could let this ruin my whole day. I literally could start beating this bitch. Literally picking up shit and go to hitting his ass. But I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth doing. What is it gonna solve? He's still gonna be a liar. He's still gonna lie. They really sit up there and say, it's probably me. It's me. But um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not worry about it. We're gonna push it to the back of our brain. We're gonna keep working. I got a class all week. I don't got nobody else to watch our kids. I'm gonna look for them a daycare tomorrow and I'm going to put them in daycare. I'm not gonna listen to my husband tell me, oh, that's a waste of money. That's dumb, that's stupid. Nope, I'm gonna put my kids in daycare. Remember who the fuck I am. Bitch, I'm too rich, too bossy. 
have too many income earning opportunities to sit up here and be up here crying about a nigga and not getting up out of bed and working when I when I gotta provide for seven. It's gonna be nine kids. So it is what it is. Now the old me and he won't leave. He like literally laying in the bed listening to me. He won't even go downstairs and give me space. The old me Baby, I'll be flattened tires right now, busting windows. You know, we would be in here tussling. But I got too many kids. All my kids home. My kids downstairs eating their pizza, watching TV. Gregory and McIntyre was playing video games. I'm not finna disrupt my kids' peace for this. And I'm not finna let it throw off my day. If my husband wanna continue to be a hoe and sleep with everybody. That's his life, his choice. Mommy, you're mommy. Hey, buddy. So I just got out the shower. And I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh, it's cause of how you carry yourself. I cheat too, look at how you look. It don't got nothing to do with how I carry myself. A nigga will cheat on you if you look beautiful every day. Eyelashes, at the end of the day, people in general gonna do whatever people wanna do. But what you have to learn how to do, which which I'm, I'm I'm learning, I'm working on it right now myself, is to use your logic. Because I have thousands of dollars on the line. If I was to, to use my emotions right now, I would literally go bust my husband, windows out of his car, flat every tire, try to fight him, don't give a fuck if I go to jail. And you know what would happen? My kids will witness me acting like that. I, I risk the possibility of getting a CPS case because I'm up here, up here acting crazy. Everybody outside too, up here acting crazy. And then also I risk going to jail and then it's gonna take over my whole day. And these thousands of dollars that people have paid me for me to teach these classes, I would lose it. I would ruin my reputation. So I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be emotionally intelligent i asked him about it he said whatever he said it's up to me to choose to believe it or not believe it and let me just go to work for the day let me stick to my plans not gonna let this run my day i feel like this man antagonizing me too because he like steady in the room didn't go eat no pizza then in the bed he's like oh that's crazy i'm listening to you you crazy how am i crazy how I'm debating if I should change my shirt and I got a stain, excuse me, right here. I kind of don't care. They don't know I really don't be giving a shit. All right, peach patch, I'm off to work while this bitch lay in the bed, bitch. And I got a bacon cheeseburger. First meal of the whole day and I'm pregnant with two babies. I swear lately, I'm so thankful for the wisdom my daddy gave me before he died. Because I promise, if it wasn't for those quotes, the number one in my life is, life is filled with adversity. Keep going anyways. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you that quote be carrying me, it really do. I'm going to um, sit and send out my emails before I start driving home. And it's my last night because of the cry because... I ain't crying in class, baby. Back to the money. You gotta stay focused. I got too many kids and too many responsibilities. I'm happy that I've lived real life and I know the consequences of not coming to work just because life life. In. So, Peach Batch, I'm in my husband's truck and it's Wi Fi in here. So, I'm about to go ahead and send out my emails and it just dawned on me. It's like, oh, girl, you really. In this truck, and this nigga probably really messed with somebody, like hunched somebody in the back seat. <clears throat> and last night, uh, Friday night, it's like, child, baby, listen, so nasty. All right, Peach Batch, I have over a hundred people in my class, and I just sent out emails to everybody who paid online, just reminder emails. Everybody who paid through social media, they got all the information yesterday. So we shouldn't have any issues. Current time is 6.32. So I have time to just go sit with myself for about 10 minutes prior to class starting. And just class is going to be phenomenal. When they show you who they are, believe them. 
Unapologetically Mika out.